Hey, what's up? So yesterday I had this really bad piece of field audio that I actually went back. I, ch I sent it into audition and I sent it back and I fixed it. So I figured I'd just do that today and demonstrate how to do that, hopefully really, really quickly. So here's the audio. You'll be able to get many years of produce out of it. It was recorded really low, whatever channel, whatever is going on in this room. It's probably high ceilings, some sort of air conditioner, some sort of fan. Able to get many years of produce out of it. And it sounds like CRAP. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to export this as a WAV file. Let me do that first. F3. I have an export setting. Time's sake, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. I do call these things. So let's say this was... George Byte, and I want the word Avid on it. You'll understand in a little bit. George Byte, Avid, to differentiate the original file from the file I'm going to make in Audition. So I will save that, and then I'm going to open Audition. And let me bring Audition here. So Audition, in a way, it, it's a, it took me a while to really get to it, but it's like, I don't know, to me it doesn't really save like projects per se. Um, I could be wrong about that, but so what I do is in a sense I'm gonna hit control I and I'm going to import a file and In the desktop I had George byte avid and I'm gonna open that file and now it comes in here This is not a multi-track session which you could do if you had multiple tracks of audio You can do that in avid just send them out ch You know channel one ch two three four and you could actually do adjust different things to each channel the way you wanted to but here I have the file and I'm just using the space bar and yes it still sounds like crap in audition so what am I gonna do to fix this I am going to capture a noise print and have them remove that noise that's the way I'm gonna do it so the way and a little counterintuitive but the way you want to grab a piece of uh, this file this audio file and it could make it smaller or bigger by adjusting this thing up top here. But you just can click on anywhere in the file and just drag right. So in this case, I want Audition to look at this noise. That is that sort of horrible, horrible hum that, that's... Stop doing that. That is that horrible hum that is in the room. And now what I want to do... Is I want to go to effects, noise reduction restoration, and go to noise reduction process. I do use this enough that I will hit control shift P. And what's going to happen here is you want to capture this little section that you highlighted as a noise print, right? So I'm going to hit this button right here. Now I have this noise print. It has all this audio mumbo jumbo, which I will not get into right now. And what I want to do is apply this noise reduction. By reducing this noise print to the whole to the whole clip to the whole clip right so the way I would do that I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna double click anywhere in here and now the whole clip is selected I'm gonna hit apply and you could even see it actually reduced that noise that hum you could see it in the um, EQ and then what do you call that waveform excuse me you could see it in the waveform that it reduced that and now I'm gonna play it back be able to get many years of produce. The other thing I, I like to do really quickly sometimes with effects is I'll add this uh, effect, which you go over here to this effects rack. This is all, I never even customized my workspace yet for Audition. I only really use Audition to do this, even though there's obviously many other things you can do with it. And then I will go to special vocal enhancer, and I usually try um, male, female music. I know I did this already. You just put, sort of pick, pick one and see what plays better. To me, the music one... Able to get many years uh, added a little bit of a resonance, a little bit of uh, deepness to it. To Same thing, you, this is a little low. I could raise the volume, the dB a little bit. Able to get many years of produce out of it. And now, in theory, I like this clip. I'm going to go back to the effects wrap. Again, I'm going to hit apply. And now I'm going to export the file. I usually call these files George Byte AU for addition. That's the way I, I try to differentiate it. One's called Avid, one's called AU. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to hit OK, and there it is. So now I'm going to go into Avid, and now I'm going to import that file. Drop frame. Great. So now I have it. You'll be able to get many years of produce out of it. That is the new clip.
you'll be able to get many years of produce out of it. That is the old clip. Not good. I'm going to replace that. So hopefully that was a really quick, easy way for you to round trip bad audio into audition bring it back save you some time so you can drink more beer that's what the avid course i made is all about i have 180 videos all under five minutes teaching you avid from the beginning of setting up a project to the final export and every single thing in between so check that out at avidbeer.com what am i going to drink this weekend i'm going to drink something from that ballast point beer company because it just got sold for two billion dollars so a craft beer company making two billion dollars i'm going to select loot them by having probably a scope and IPA but hopefully you have a great weekend of drinking beer and making awesome videos and thanks for watching I will see you in the next video